Hi, this is Motivated Painters. How you doing? I was given a gun for free by Matco um, for me to try out, so I thought I'd give it a try and see what happens. <music> any good we'll find out we'll give it the motivated painters test how about that all day long everything see how it goes okay so I got this gun and I wanted to put it to the test I wanted to see what it could do I honestly wasn't expecting much from it but I had to test it out I mean if somebody hands you a free gun and they say tell me what you think about it why not right so that's what I did. I started using a concealer and uh, I actually did this job from start to finish. So I put this, these were brand new doors on this Tesla and I lied the sealer with it. Now it, it looks very shiny, like it looks good, like I was super happy with it. This was the very first job that I put sealer on. So after that I dialed it in a little bit more. So because I I was I like to use my pro light at 24 or so this one needed a little bit more but look at that spray pattern it's so even Let's load it down here so I can show you it's it's like super even it's like straight and then it goes round and then straight again and then it goes round like I thought it was a great 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 spray pattern so I'm using a uh, PPG sealer for that so that's usually what I use all the time and then after the sealer I cleaned it out nice the gun cleans out really well I'm going to do some talking also inside the booth and inside the mixing room just giving you my thoughts just raw straight into the camera so you guys can see what I think about it um, I put three coats of base on this and I was super happy with it I was honestly I was shocked and the crazy thing about this gun is I honestly didn't expect anything from it and it's so small the gun itself is 150 grams lighter than my Iwata and I love my Iwata you guys know that I don't change that for for clear that's the only gun I use so this gun has uh, 1.4 tip and it uh, sprayed very well it breaks down the product very well like as you can tell there's not much over spray so it's like it's really putting it on this I, obviously look i was i was hammering it on i was putting a lot of paint on this so i wanted to see what this gun could do and it was really cool because it was really putting the paint on the panel and that's what you want you want a gun that's gonna get as much as the product that you have in your cup into onto the panel so you have less waste that way. When you hear people talking about transfer efficiency, that's what they mean. Like, how good can this gun transfer the product that's in the cup and onto the vehicle, onto the substrate, onto whatever it is that you're paying? That is such a big deal because that way you know you're getting good coverage, you know you're not wasting product, you know you're getting the right material onto um, the surface, right? So I was just spraying this thing normally how I was spraying with my SATA. This is a 1.4. They made it to compete against the SATA, I'm guessing. I, I, I take a wild guess. And uh, I was very happy with it. So I turned it down to 18 PSI. The regulator on this thing is amazing. I'm gonna get a whole bunch of them. And uh, maybe I'm gonna sell one or something, I don't know. Maybe I'll give one away. I just really like the regulator. It's got the, I don't think I show it, but it's got like the, so it shows you when you go over uh, 20 PSI or whatever, you see the dark green and the light green. It shows you the where the, the gun sprays the best. Okay. 
Okay. Sorry, I can't speak today for some reason, but the the regulator shows you when the gun's spraying at its optimum performance, right? So as you can see there, I put on my uh, control coat, I cleaned it out, and now I'm gonna go with the clear. This is all the same job, obviously. It was very easy to clean. So, um, where's my ball? Here we go. There's this, uh, this gun has a special coating inside and uh, apparently it's, well, it makes sense to me that it's very easy to clean because the, the inside of this gun is coated with a certain, I don't even know what it is, okay? Um, but it's apparently coated with something that makes it really easy to clean and I can vouch with that because Obviously, I experienced it and it was super easy to clean like it was it was pretty cool um, So as you can tell I'm staying the same distance that I usually stay with my Iwata if you watch me regularly You know like I try to stay from six inches to you know, maybe ten inches depending on you know the orange peel that you want on the vehicle or whatever but I am I am used to kind of moving fast with my Iwata so I had to slow myself down a little bit with this gun because I, I wasn't getting the finish that I wanted so but I mean mind you this gun was designed to for base so I, I'm just crazy I'm just a crazy person and I like to try things out to their extreme sometimes so what I did is I just went from sealer to base coat to clear coat I wanted to see what this gun could do and honestly I was very happy with all of the applications. I was super happy. So here's a little slow motion. So you could see the spray pattern there. And like six inches or something like that. It's kind of like it, the pattern is really nice. I, I was very, very impressed to be honest. Like, I mean, this gun, I think is like $500 USD. I'll put a link in the description for it. Um, I I don't I won't get anything from it, but I, I you, you can get it online from the app, from the Matco website. And I was super impressed, guys. Like if you're looking for a base coat gun that will literally perform just as good as a 5000, and I know like like. Honestly, like I'm just giving you my opinion, okay? So this is just what I think. So don't send me hate mail because I said something. Um, this is just my opinion and... Anyways, honestly, this gun for base was the best. I tried it for sealer a couple times. I tried it for clear a couple times. But the best application that I saw, that I felt, was for base. But, I mean, if this is the only gun that you had, then you're okay. You would be okay. If, honestly, if this is the only gun that you had. So, I'm spraying right now at 30 PSI. I remember clearly setting it up for 30 PSI because I wanted to see how it performed. And it performed amazing at 30 PSI. At 25 PSI, it was a little bit too orange peely. Um, not really for my liking, but... I, it still laid down a beautiful job. It, like you can tell, like there's not much overspray. Obviously, there in a bumper, I'm shooting overspray everywhere. But for the most part, the gun was really doing a great job with the transfer efficiency. It, I don't know what they did to it, but obviously, it was it was really well. So there you go. There's some of the finish, and uh, we're gonna hear some thoughts from inside the booth there in a little bit. So this is a MTHVLP14. No idea what it means but it means uh, that it's an HVLP and it's a 1.4, something like that. And it's from Matco Tools. Uh, they recommend a max air of 29 PSI. So I'm just trying all kinds of different stuff. 
I was clearing with it earlier, that Tesla you saw, I cleared it with it. And I use 39 PSI for that, just like I do with my Iwata. The finish is a bit more heavy in the sense that the droplets are bigger. So the automation is good and uh, it breaks it down nicely, but obviously it's not as fine as the Iwata. The Iwatas are known to break down the product very nicely. So, but this is, this is probably the lightest gun I have ever uh, had in my hand. It, it fits nice. It doesn't have a body like anything I've seen. Um, but then again, I don't get out much. This regulator is actually very good. I'm like really happy with this regulator. It gives you bars and it gives you PSI. So it's really, really nice. Um, so yeah, so I'm gonna continue to spray this and see what my thoughts are. I sprayed this little silver drop and I was super happy with it. There's something about it. It just lays down the metallics nicely or rather lay, uh, stands them up nicely. But I did a whole bunch of jobs with it. Here's a little uh, black Toyota that I sprayed and uh, I'll give you some thoughts inside the booth there for you guys. I wanted to also get like a side shot because I wanted you guys to see the fan on this and uh, as you can tell here look at that fan it's super even I was so impressed like I was looking back at this footage and I was really impressed looks good I had to go over a little bit more there so it's a bit too orange feeling but this matches the Toyota orange peel very well actually I'm very happy with it very nice for a Matco gun well I shouldn't even say for a Matco gun because this is performing just as good or maybe a tiny tiny little bit less than your quote-unquote high-end gun so I'm, I'm very pleased with this very surprised I was spraying at uh, 38 psi just like I do with my Iwata and uh, I had the fan wide open but I did one turn in right not to us not to have the fan um, distorted way too open um, but it's it's so nice because I mean in, in my opinion and that's all that is and I want you to know that this is not paid advertisement or this is not like I, I I could I don't even know how to tell you like I could I don't want to be rude but I could care less for to try you know like another gun like you know it doesn't really matter to me I just wanted to see if uh, this gun was worthwhile so this was this gun was given to me for free for me to try um, I did not buy this gun no money was given to me at all so just for me to try it so I give it a try and it's good I like it um, I did like I don't know if you noticed but when I was going um, there around the bumper I was able to just this gun is so light you can hold it with just a, not too much strength so I was able to just rotate it like that with my thumb which was actually really nice on my hand and uh, it's small enough that you can do that right and you can just kind of go like that right kind of go like that and, and you're able not to have the full grasp on it and still be able to uh, have um, good grip so Astro Tools has another spray gun that is almost identical to this one and I was looking at it, I was comparing it, I'm like wow this is almost the same gun but it's got a different color. So, But I was looking at it and then um, it's, it's called a Evo T13 or 14 and this gun has like a lower air consumption but it's not the same because they really wanted to compete with the SATA, I guess, so they really put some thought into it when it came to the actual, how can I say, the technicalities of the gun. So like that that gun, that um, the Evo T13 would spray at 19, this gun would spray at 29. So 
So, sprayed a few drops with it now. Um, I'm really liking it. The recommended uh, PSI for it is 29. I find that at 30, um, at 30, 29, 30, it does a very good job atomizing the base coat. And I'm using PPG and Virobase. And then for the drop coat, I bring it down to 20. For the drop coat, I just did a drop coat now. Bring it down to 20, 19, 20. So, and it seems to, it seems to be doing what I want it to do. I, I was a little concerned about doing a, a silver like this, but I, uh, you know, like this is color is not the greatest. So, but as you can see it, it laid it down nice. I, it, I would have thought, I'd never spray with a Matco gun. I, they, I guess they don't, or pneumatic, uh, whatever this has come from. Um, but I, I'm, I'm impressed. I'm impressed. I don't know what else to say. I wasn't expecting much of this gun, to be honest. Um, I, I've always been blessed enough that I've always had the quote-unquote high-end guns and never really had to go to the quote-unquote low-end guns. But uh, I'm really impressed with this one. I'm, I'm going to continue to use it. It cleans out fairly easy. I don't have to really struggle to clean it out. I always like to see if it's paint underneath here on the top and the sides, see if it gets caught up in there. Since I'm using this for base and clear, I want to make sure that it's very clean so that we don't have any contamination on the clear coat. And I usually don't do this. I don't do base and clear with the same gun, but just for the sense of this video that I wanted you guys to get the big picture. I am doing it. I put it through a few uh, I put it through a few um, cycles already with thinners to see how it would hold up and it seems to be very well. It's got kind of like a texture to it really. It's, it's, it's nice, I like it. That thing that I'm using right there is made by Spraymax, the same company that makes that blunder. It's amazing to clean your guns with. It's a very light gun. I'm not sure what they put in it, but I really enjoy that cleaner. It cleans out uh, solvents and it cleans out water, which is a huge deal for me, like, because I do both. And especially in a case like this, when I'm using the gun for multiple applications, it was amazing. It really breaks down whatever it is. And I don't know if uh, whoever's uh, using PPG sealer, that even thinner has a hard time breaking down that sealer inside your gun. So that really works, that Spray Max gun cleaner. So you can probably get it from your jobber, or your distributor wherever you get your uh, materials from. I think most people get them. Listen to me uh, singing, guys. Beautiful. That's one of the things I do in the booth. Keeps me sane. I love singing. Well, um, my conclusion is after I sprayed those jobs and I sprayed, been spraying for this gun for a couple weeks now and I've been using it for all my difficult colors and I must say that I'm impressed. I don't know how it will hold up years from now, but as of now it's intact and it's been a great gun. I would have to keep using it and see what's going, what happens. So one of the things that I've noticed about this Matco gun is that it's very easy to clean. I've probably had this gun for about a month and I've never like really taken it apart and cleaned it. And I'm looking at the cap and it's, it looks perfect. Like, it's very hard for things to get built up on this. I'm not too sure why, but I mean, it's so clean 
this, it's so clean, it's crazy. There's no buildup of paint anywhere. The paint that catches on here, on here, like it just comes right off. It's, it's I'm in shock, I'm shocked. So, for, for, sorry with my finger in there, but I mean, I've been using this for a month and I, yeah, I don't know, I don't, I don't have anything bad to say about it. And it kind of looks cool. I mean, the purple, I don't dig too much. All right, but that's just my personal opinion. And uh, there's a little bit of a nick there that I've done, but it's not rubbing off or anything. I'm, I'm happy with it. Very happy with it. I don't know what else to say. Other than that, whenever this comes out, if someone happens to buy it, like, would you please mention Motivated Painters to whoever sells it to you? That would be amazing. All right? Um, God bless you. Take care. Thank you for watching this. You know, it's a bit long, a little bit everywhere, here and there. But you know how I do things. I like to do them. Boom, boom, boom. Get them done. I like to get this out to you guys so you guys could learn, so you guys could see and uh yeah there's a, a couple of guns that i would love to try like the cebolas um the sada 1500 which is a great gun as well um, it's a video coming up on that anyways guys take care god bless peace